Here's how to apply stain to your wood project so that you get a beautiful finish. First thing to do is make sure you've sanded your project to at least 180 grit sandpaper with a random orbit sander to remove any scratches or scuffs or defects before you apply stain. Whether you choose water-based or oil-based stain, they all work about the same. Personally, I like the oil base. When you're ready to apply the stain, you can either apply it with a brush or a rag. I prefer a rag because I have a little bit more control over it and it doesn't seem to drip as much as a brush does. But check the directions on the stain that you pick out for what they suggest you use to stain with. Make sure your project is free of any dust before you apply the stain. Also, mix your stain up really well. With stain, less is more. Get a little bit on the rag and see how far it goes. Wipe it in to all the pores. You wanna go with the grain, but it is okay to work it into the pores like this and then follow it back up. So if I wipe this off immediately, that is the lightest color I'm gonna get. If I'd like to make it darker, I just need to wait for this to dry, then I can apply another coat. The important thing is not letting any excess stain dry on outside of the wood. Now that I've given this first layer of stain enough time to dry, I'm going to go ahead and add a second layer and darken it up just a bit. And you see how I'm wiping it on and you can see these streaks in here? That's what you don't want to just dry on the project or it's going to look streaky like that. It's not going to absorb it. I'm going to give it just a few minutes to soak in and then I'll wipe it off. Go ahead and wipe off the excess. Just that quickly, we went a shade darker. This is the one coat. This is the second coat. There's no excess buildup on the top, so you can't see any kind of smudges or streaks in the finish. It's always a good idea to start off with less than you actually need to see how far it spreads, so then you're not trying to play catch up by having a bunch of drips that you'll have to wipe off or clean up. After you get the desired shade of color that you'd like, then you can add a clear coat to it because stains don't always come with the clear coat mixed in. And if it did, it would get harder to darken the color because of the clear coat that's mixed in. One thing to keep in mind, whenever you're using oil-based products, whatever you use to apply it with, even your gloves, a brush, or a rag can spontaneously combust. So before you throw out your stain rags, make sure you lay them flat outside on the dirt or the concrete, unless you have a metal container to put those into, just in case they spontaneously combust, they don't catch anything on fire. Once your stain rags or brushes are completely dry, then you can just throw them away. Now you're ready to make a beautiful stain on your project.